I like to think of myself as a brain explorer. Our entire perception of the world is based on how our brain combines information from different senses in order for us to make sense of our everyday experiences. I want to know how the brain does this, and I'm looking for clues inside the brain of a fascinating little insect called the rove beetle. The rove beetles are so small that to work with them, you have to have really steady hands. What's really amazing about these beetles is that they have evolved this ability to flex their abdomen and release toxic chemicals at predatory ants or any other threat in their natural environment. We are using new genetic tools to look inside the beetle and eventually understand how it uses all the sensory cues in its environment, whether it be smell, taste, or touch, to decide who's friend or who's foe because it's critical for their survival. Understanding this in the beetle brain might ultimately help us understand a core function of our own brains. My work has the potential to impact a variety of areas from advancing neuroscience to our understanding of evolution. In the long run, it may even help us understand when we're aging, where our ability to combine the senses and interact with others starts to decline. Outside of my work, dancing is also one of my big passions. In Northern India, where my parents are from, there's this dance called Bhangra. For me, Bhangra is a form of pure joy. Traditionally, it was only performed by men. But like everything else, including science, women make it better. My grandma is one of the reasons that I got interested in neuroscience. She had Parkinson's disease, and I was really curious to understand what in the brain was changing to cause her to move differently. My dad is also a scientist, so he's always been asking me how I think the world works. Still, science didn't come easy to me. I was super shy, and there were definitely days in high school where I didn't say a single word. Being inside of a science lab with amazing mentors really helped me find my voice. Now, I'm just as excited to help others overcome their own doubts so that they can become the best versions of themselves as scientists. Okay. Bring your full, genuine self to all your scientific discussions because you have amazing ideas and your ideas matter.